we're going to preschool and then Hasbro. Yeah, where are we going, Hannah? <laughs> Are we going to preschool in the hospital? Is that what you said? Yeah. Hey guys, and welcome to week three of weekly vlogs. So this week I work six days in a row. So today's the first one, and I work Monday through Saturday. Hannah's a little bit sick at the moment. I don't. There's a whole a bunch of things going on, and I don't know if it's just like a regular flu because you know like kids catch flus and uh, Hannah needs oxygen because she's not a typical kid it might just be that or there's a lot of forest fires in like lower BC like on the island in like Vancouver area it's so bad like I'll insert some pictures because I can't actually show you guys it's so bad that like there's a NASA shot and it's just like a total smoke cover. it doesn't look nice out it looks cloudy but it's like a nice day out the sun looks like re red there's like ash in the air that could be causing Hannah to have breathing problems because she's capturing the day so then that wouldn't be so bad because then your nose and mouth filters it the air but the trach doesn't filter anything like the HME that you put on doesn't filter it nothing filters it like the ventilator filtered the air so if she was on the ventilator still she'd be okay but she's not maybe that's it I don't really think it's gotten that bad yet plus we're not really outside so I don't I don't really think that's it but then I also think like, what about if she isn't doing well being capped? When I went up there, I put her to nap with her cap on because I'm trying to like strengthen her sleeping habits with it because like I don't want her to learn she's supposed to breathe out her mouth and nose. I took off the cap when she was desatting to see if her sats would go up and they didn't, they stay the same. So that's a good sign because if it was that she was just having a hard time breathing through her mouth and nose, the sats would have went up, but it stayed the same. So that's good. But the other thing is, is that it could be having troubles getting secretions up and that she's caught in some kind of pneumonia because the secretions are stuck in her lungs and stuff. But it's not that bad. She's not on very much oxygen. She doesn't have in drawing. She is like normal. She's fine during the day. Uh, she has a little bit of a runny nose, so it could just be a common cold. Her heart rate's really low, so usually if she's an infection, it'd be high. No fever. I don't know. So it's not really seeming like pneumonia or anything like that yet. I'm just thinking of all the things. And then also the other thing it could be is that she has high CO2 from not being able to exhale all of the bad air out and I was thinking about it even capped during the day she technically should have had a test done for CO2 I thought of like all the things it could just be a small tiny little cold but I'm just gonna keep an eye on her it's just not on a ton of oxygen she's doing good, fine tomorrow though we are going to her family doctor's office her family doctor and her pediatrician are both way on holidays right now which really sucks she needs a med refilled so we have to make an appointment with some other doctor and we're getting a tap form for the ferry to go to her appointment next week I'm gonna win. Hey, good mom. Mom, can I Oh, there's a kitty. Yeah, yeah that's a lot of kitties. <laughs> You're too fast. <laughs> Since I work the next two evenings and then I work the next two days and then I work like a mid shift I'm preparing a bunch of food and right now I'm just making this spaghetti squash mixture really tasty and then I'm gonna make a couple of wraps pre-made wraps so that I don't have to worry about making lunch for work and then I know I will eat better because I already have stuff easy to eat my 21 day fix challenge group ended yesterday and I just did the measurements today and I uh, just finished doing them and I'm so excited that I just had to turn on the camera and share with you guys. I'm gonna do a, like a full, like my experience on it and everything, but I lost an inch off my stomach and if you guys follow me for a while, you know that's where I wanna lose weight. Like I don't really care about losing pounds. I wanna have a smaller stomach. Pretty much I just wanna lose my love handles. And I've lost, for sure, I lost three pounds, but it might be like five. It's been between three and five because I had two starting weights. I don't, I think maybe I lost like half an inch off my legs. My legs are probably like as small as they're gonna get for a while. I don't really mind them. I just mostly mind my stomach. I look fine now, but uh, these pants are almost too big. One thing I gotta get not in the habit of doing is stopping for Tim Hortons coffee, but we're going to the doctors and then we're going to OT and we have to go to a couple other places, so it's well deserved. I need to sleep and you're gonna climb all over me. Yeah. You look so big, Kaylee. I mean. Well, you're big too, yep. Yeah. 
They're thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> Silly you. So yesterday at OT, I kind of had the spur of a moment idea about preschool. They recommended it and I was like, it just doesn't work with working and the nursing hours because we're not getting more nursing hours. And then I thought about how Tuesday, Thursday afternoons, I could have a nurse start for preschool and then go until 10 o'clock and I do, could do closing shifts. But I would need a little bit more hours to do that and I would just cancel one night shift a week and then that would be enough hours. And so I thought of this. So then yesterday I was looking at preschools really quickly and there's like no preschools that do Thursday, Friday afternoons or afternoons at all. I found one and it's one that I remember when I went to school, everybody, everybody went to it. So it has a really good reputation. We're gonna go see it right now. And yeah, it works. And it works so that I can actually work my regular shift on Thursday perfectly and then it would just be Tuesday. So, but I needed to get on this because one, the spots are gonna fill up and two, I could think of way more reasons why this is a bad idea. So I wanna go like put money down, sign them up. So then there's like no going back cause I could outweigh the with bad thoughts. But Hannah really does need to go to preschool. It's like Haley obviously does too. Hannah more so though, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go to preschool and then basketball. Yeah, where are we going, Hannah? Kitty cat. <laughs> are we going to preschool and then the hospital? Is that what you said? Yeah. I love how big it is because it's like a really big center, which is good and bad. I, I could go either way, but I just really want him to get ready to go to school. And yeah, there's gonna be germs. There's gonna be germs at school too. So I'm just gonna keep telling myself that. But it was so cute with the bathrooms. There's a girl and a boy bathroom, but they're like, it's such a big center that they have like, well, not such a big center. They have two bath, like two toilets in the girls one. Little kid size with little kid size sink. And it's just so cute. And it's an automatic, Mommy. automatic, yeah. uh, yeah, um, it's an automatic hand washing thing. You, you don't have to turn on the knobs and stuff. It just, it, it was a nice center. So I stopped off at the P.O. Box before I came home from work and I got my Shakeology. I also got this huge package from Lauren and he was really excited. And we're just waiting for Hannah to wake up and then we're allowed to open it, but we can't open it before, right? No. Are you scared? No. Are you shy? No. No? I was gonna kiss it. Oh, it looked like you were hiding. Cute. So I haven't opened it yet, but I was just reading the thank you card, which I thought was really cute that it's like a thank you card. One thing I really like is I like sharing our story and like I do it for special needs families because there isn't a lot of it, but I like, obviously I do it mostly for myself, but I really, really like when people let me know how it's helped them, like if they can relate or things like that. So Lauren is currently in the middle of adopting siblings with special needs. So she just wants to thank me for sharing our lives and sharing that it's possible to have a special needs child and work and balance everything. Making emergency bag trach changes and creating beautiful functioning rooms for the girls. It just really warms my heart to hear people be really grateful for certain kinds of videos and somehow it, it uh, helps them in whatever way because I know that before I started YouTube and like when I was in the beginning of this, I was one of those people that were on the hunt for stuff and I would find things that like a trach blog. Really gain a lot from what they had shared and really appreciate what they had shared. So it's just really nice to hear when people are really appreciated for that. So thank you for the lovely card and hopefully Hannah wakes up soon. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> what do you got? I got... What is it? I got poop. 
I got bubbles. Bubbles. It's so funny. I guess this package got so hot the crayons are melted and I don't, these stickers are like all like weird and melted, but like, check the out. What do you guys got to say? So I know some people think you shouldn't dress your twins like they should be individual people. They probably won't like to be dressed alike. But I asked them to come upstairs and get changed of pajamas and they chose to dress the same. Right, Healy? And were you excited that you were dressed the same? Yeah. yeah. Like, there's been multiple times where I wish I had my camera out because they're like, me and Hannah are dressed the same. Lots well, Healy saying, we're dressed the same, we're dressed the same. Or I buy one thing and then, no, we need two because we need to be the same. But like... It's not like they're always the same, just sometimes the same, right? Yeah. Uh, same uh, same. Not every day you're going to be the same. Uh, Do you dress the same every day? Yeah. No, you don't. Uh -huh. Do you guys dress the same every day? Yeah. Why are you saying yeah? Did it, Did you dress like today before you put on your pajamas? Yeah. Uh -huh. no, you to dress? You're silly. You're <laughs> silly. <laughs> Mommy could be in bed. Hi, could be last. So, uh, I'm gonna sit on the toilet. <laughs> I'm not using the bathroom. So, my whole house smells like campfire right now. And I thought it was really weird. And I kind of thought, like, maybe my. I left the windows and stuff open downstairs. And I thought maybe, like, my neighbor was outside smoking. But it doesn't really smell like smoke. It smells like campfire. And I go on Facebook, and there's like 10 statuses of people commenting that there must be a fire in town because everybody woke up to the smell of, like, fire. And then somebody posted an article that there is. And yesterday before I went to sleep, I was watching the news and apparently this is what summer is going to be like for us forever. This is what our kids have looked forward to. Forest fires that like are uncontrollable because we're not used to this much dryness. It always rains here. And we have so much trees and stuff that uh, it's so bad. The air quality advisory just got lifted and now it smells like way worse than it even did like when we had an advisory on so I'm sure it's back. I haven't looked outside yet. I'm kind of scared to look outside. <laughs> I wanted to record her but it was facing me. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Yep. Can, can, can I hold my bag? Yeah. Okay, we gotta go to Maybe. Dot. Okay. And then an L. An L. Hey, I get L like Y. And then an E. Then an A again. An E. An E, Haley. Oh, okay. <laughs> And then a Y. And then a Y? Yeah. Like this? Mm, kind of. Okay, I get that Y. Okay. Good job. Do you want to draw a picture now? Okay. On Instagram today, I posted a picture of two pairs of shoes because I was in Walmart and they were on clearance and I couldn't decide which color. This was one of them. <laughs> They're black. They're cute. They look like a little bit of a wedge. But everybody said black and like I looked down and I like black except for that with my outfit I really feel like the brown one so I got both But like doesn't this go so much better with the outfit? I, I feel like brown shoes with this outfit go so much better and the shoes were only nine dollars So I didn't even pay twenty dollars for two pairs of shoes. So that's a part I definitely think that the brown shoes probably mostly wear in the summertime I could see me wearing the black one all year round but on a side note this mirror while I've uh Taking this picture, I realize I'm gonna hang this mirror up in the bathroom right here, and I'm gonna move that picture to that wall, and then I can be able to like see my whole outfit while I'm getting ready for work and whatever, because I can't do that. The only mirror I have is this one, and like that's like half a mirror, and yeah, I was cleaning. So, anyways, Haley has her first birthday party to go to tomorrow. I'm actually gonna be at work, so Grandma's gonna take her. Just her because it's a daycare friend, and Hannah doesn't know that friend, and I didn't want Grandma to take two two kids. I want I want her to like be able to fully handle herself somewhere where I haven't been before. So we got the little girl this toy. I gotta wrap that up tonight. Way better. Now I have a mirror. I can be getting ready and actually know what I look like. 
There's totally gonna be little kid fingerprints all over them here, but that's okay. Are you ready? Let's do this. Jury 30. Right? Jury 30. Finished working out. I'm gonna paint my nails and watch Orange is the New Black. I just wanted to quickly say that today I paid for Hannah and her nurse to go see Minions. We just came into theaters today. The reason I wanted to say this is because I realized that I said Haley's going to a birthday party, but Hannah does fun stuff too. It's not just like Haley gets to do all the fun stuff. I just don't want to send Hannah to a birthday party with somebody she doesn't know, with, with somebody that isn't. Sunday today, and today I am drinking a vanilla Shakeology with instant coffee in it. It's so much easier than making coffee, putting it in the fridge, waiting it for it to cool down, and then making it. It's so tasty. I've got the French vanilla one. So delicious. And I am writing up some scripts for some videos I haven't started yet. I'm gonna do a work one. I'm gonna do my weight loss update and I'm going to film Haley's NICU stay and I'll film Hannah's after that just because Haley's only two months, Hannah's like a year and a half, and then there'll be like so many more videos about Hannah afterwards where I can just get kind of Haley out of the way. So yeah, that's what I'm doing and I'm uh, wearing a bikini because I just put on a uh, self tanner all over my body so that I looked a little bit darker. So yesterday when Haley got to go to the birthday party and Hannah didn't, Haley was talking about it all morning and was making Hannah really jealous. So before I take this off the wall, I just wanted to show you guys my Hannah's nurse uh, made this like a happy unbirthday thing and they had a really fun time and they made a cake and they made some party hats and they've made some fake presents. And it was just nice because she didn't have to do that and Hannah was sad but like it wasn't really Hannah's party to go to. She wasn't invited. It wasn't me taking her. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm just about to film some videos and next week we don't really have any big plans so I don't know what will happen next week but I'll see you in the next video. Bye.